Hello everybody and welcome to the Alien vs Predator Galaxy YouTube channel, or if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. This is Aaron Percival aka Corporal Hicks, and today I'm doing what I love to do and that is taking a look at some of the behind the scenes stories of the films. This particular video is a polish up of an article I wrote several years back to do with the development hell of Alien vs Predator the movie. So we're going to be taking a look at one particular person and how he helped kick off the entire process and some of the other could have beens along the way and people that got involved. For Alien and Predator fans with an interest in the behind the scenes of our favourite films, Peter Briggs is a name that is as synonymous to Alien vs Predator as Dark Horse Comics or Randy Stradley are, and that's because Briggs was responsible for the first attempt to bring the concept to the big screen. Peter Briggs had always known he wanted to be a director, unfortunately things didn't quite go to plan for him. He dropped out of college to move away with his girlfriend, but then Briggs worked his way up through the ranks of the film industry, becoming a runner and then eventually a cameraman and getting his union card. The job market was tough though. As a cameraman, there are 3,000 guys behind your back vying for the job, and I just thought, this is ridiculous. And so Peter Briggs turned his sights towards screenwriting. After finding representation, Briggs found employment with the short-lived Paramount UK. He was there to help develop science fiction projects, with the intention being he'd develop several of them and then write one for Paramount UK. However, according to Briggs, Paramount UK didn't actually know what they were doing, how to develop the rich vein of genre material. I was throwing them all this William Gibson cyberpunk bait, they wanted all these creaking science fiction projects that were past their sell by date the second they were born. Finding himself in a bit of a rut trying to work for Paramount, Peter Briggs turned his aspirations to trying to find work with Joel Silver, one of the producers of Predator. Briggs wanted to write a decent enough sample to get a rewrite, and turned his attention to the then recently released Aliens vs Predator comic from Dark Horse. Briggs took the basic story of the comic and wrote his own adaptation of the concept. What I did was take the bare frame of the story, eject everything from it that didn't work, put in a whole lot more material, so I think probably there's about 70-75% of me in there. When I handed it in to my agent, he looked horrified because he had no idea I was writing it and assumed rightly it'd be a tough sell. This initial draft, titled The Hunt, Alien vs Predator, was completed between June and September of 1991 over a period of 6 weeks, and Briggs's only hope from the effort was that he'd get some attention or maybe get a rewrite on some other movie off the back of it. The first draft was loosely based upon the Dark Horse comic that made the concept so popular. It was set on the planet Ryushi, but instead of the desert prospecting world of the comic, we had a jungle world that served as a communications relay. The hunt was no longer a coming of age ritual, but simply a hunt. As with many incarnations of the concept, the Predators seeded Ryushi with aliens, but this time the lead Predator, Broken Tusk, had deliberately let a Queen Bear in Facehugger aboard the seeding pods to make things a little more challenging for himself. And of course, all hell breaks loose, and it all gets a little bit out of hand. The script is readily available online, and you can find it in the download section of Alien vs Predator Galaxy. We also have a detailed script article. I will include links to both down in the video description below. Briggs's then agent Steve Kennis coincidentally had a meeting with Larry Gordon from Fox and managed to sell the script that very same day. According to one interview with Peter Briggs, Larry Gordon would eventually tell Briggs that the concept of an Alien vs Predator film had only been discussed days before the meeting with Briggs's agent, where Fox had asked Gordon to develop the project. It was very much a case of being in the right place at the right time. Briggs' first draft was handed to Joe Roth, the then chairman of 20th Century Fox, who optioned a second draft which significantly tidied up the initial spec script. There are reports that tend to indicate that as many as four drafts were produced by Briggs, but in Alien vs Predator Galaxy's own conversations with Peter Briggs, he confirmed he only completed two drafts. Unlike the original draft, Briggs' second draft never surfaced, and details of it are quite sparse. According to Briggs, some of the characters disappeared from it, a lot of the dialogue was reworked, the beginning's different, some of the extra sequences are different, there's about 70% of my first draft remaining in the second. Very little about the specifics of Peter Briggs' second draft are known, 
One thing that we do know is that the opening sequence of the film is changed from the predators hunting aliens in the hived up caverns of a desert planet to being aboard a ship adrift in space. Talking to AVP Galaxy, Peter Briggs told us that the new opening would have had a human salvage team pick up one of the predators alien seeding pods. The predators then show up and dock with the now alien infested ship. The human crew are all dead, the ship's powerless so artificial gravity is off and floating debris fills the corridor. Q-Zero gravity combat between the aliens and spacesuit predators and floating acid blood mayhem. In an article in Starlog from the mid 90s, Briggs had stated that he envisioned Joan Chen, or Tia Carrera, taking on the role of the human protagonist Hiroko Noguchi, whose first name had changed from Majiko in the comics to Hiroko as it was a more popular Japanese girl's name at the time. While discussing the practicality of filming Alien vs Predator in an interview with Andy Diggle in 1996, Peter Briggs also said of his second draft, I cut some big scenes from the first draft of Alien vs Predator because I thought, well these are throwaway. This set is superfluous. If somebody gave me the money, I think I could go out and shoot this for 35 or 40 million. In a later interview with Bloody Disgusting in 2004, after the first AVP movie did eventually come out, Briggs said the cost would have been higher, at around 100 million, or at least 60 to 80 million. In late 1992, it was reported in the fourth issue of Volume 2, Dark Horse's Aliens magazine, that Roland Emmerich was attached to direct Alien vs Predator. Whilst no writers were named in the brief article, it was stated to have been loosely based on the original Dark Horse series, was set on a jungle planet, and that Largo Entertainment was involved with a budget of around $30 million. While that makes it seem quite likely it would have been Peter Briggs' script, Emmerich and his usual partner Dean Devlin had in fact wanted to throw out Briggs' work and start from scratch. In an interview published in a different magazine, they spoke about how the alien in their film would have been a pred-alien, or pre-alien as they called it. No treatment or script was ever completed for their version though. After finally seeing Paul Anderson's Alien vs Predator, Briggs commented that he disliked the design of the alien in the film, stating he'd always been more impressed with the original design by H.R. Giger. He also referred to the Takayuki Takea alien pile model kit, which featured a more Giger-esque alien with elongated skulls, stating that that's what my creatures would have looked like if I'd have directed this thing. I'd have gone to extremes. At some point during the development of Alien vs Predator, Fox commissioned the legendary Dave Dorman to do some conceptual designs for the Pred Alien. The exact date of the work is unknown, but the mid 90s is often thrown around even by Dorman himself. However, by all accounts the project had died out by 93-94, so the question remains, who was the artwork for? While Peter Briggs' original draft hinted towards a Predator Alien hybrid, none ever actually appeared in the first draft. While talking to AVP Galaxy, Peter Briggs told us that his second draft never specifically mentioned a Predator Alien hybrid either. However, during one Alien Swarm attack sequence, he did mention something along the lines of vague hints of skeletal juggernauts with forms and shapes reminiscent of the cocooned predators. As mentioned earlier, Emmerich and Devlin were interested in the Pred Alien, or Pre Alien as they called, being their primary alien antagonist, so it's possible that Dorman's concept art was done for them and their vision of the film. When Alien vs Predator Galaxy spoke to Dave Dorman in 2007, he told us that the work was done while the film was still in the informal story stages and they were playing around with the direction of the script. Unfortunately, this leaves us without any concrete answers, so the question still remains, who was Dave Dorman's concept art commissioned for? Despite Fox's Joe Roth being a huge champion of the project, all the infighting between the producers of the Alien and Predator properties made it a real challenge getting anywhere with the Alien vs Predator film. It was primarily resistance from the Alien producers, with David Geiler in particular, who apparently said something to the effect of, I'm violently opposed to this because it dilutes the whole Alien franchise. Now that said, the majority of the issues seemed to be about money, with fighting over who would get what percentage of the grocers and who would receive what credit. When Joe Roth left 20th Century Fox in 1993, momentum on Alien vs Predator began to slow down, and the project ground to a halt and disappeared into development hell for nearly a decade. 
By the time the film was released in 2004, there were only two complete attempts at writing the Alien vs Predator film. Peter Briggs' first two drafts in 1991-1992, and Paul Anderson's in 2003 and 2004, with later rewrites by Shane Salerno. Long-time Predator producer John Davis had been listening to pitches and accepting treatments in the interim though, the most notable of which would come from James DeMonaco and Kevin Fox in 2002. From various reports at the time, their treatment sounded very much like an adaptation of Ian Edgington's Alien vs Predator comic Eternal. A man becomes a predator after discovering a crashed predator ship. His team of researchers use the alien eggs to create an environment of conflict to lure the predators back to study their technology and prolong his life. In fact, the very early reports of Anderson's involvement with Alien vs Predator had him attached to a story that sounded like an adaptation of AVP Eternal as well. Ultimately, DeMonaco and Fox's treatment wasn't the direction that John Davis wanted to take the film. He was more interested in the earthbound story he eventually got from a Paul Anderson's pitch, which would form the basis of the shooting script that Shane Salerno had rewritten for the 2004 release. In an interview with Bloody Disgusting in 2004, Peter Briggs had stated that at the time Fox had expressed an interest in doing his adaptation of Alien vs Predator with a bit of reworking. Obviously, that never came to fruition, but I think it would have been really nice to see. I'd like to thank Peter Briggs for taking the time to talk to us and to fact check the above recounting of the early days of AVP. I'd also like to thank Jamie Waugh for providing me with his own interview with Dave Dorman. I'm actually a pretty big fan of Briggs' original draft of Alien vs Predator and I'm always eager to see how his refined second draft turned out. It's a shame that one has never surfaced, so if you're watching this and you happen to have that second draft, please, please get in touch. In particular, the rewritten opening sequence in Zero G is just one of those missed opportunities that I often think about. So much so that naturally I went to my old mate Declan Loftus to visualise that particular scene for this video. You saw it earlier, but let's just enjoy it a little bit more now. I hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the history of the Alien vs Predator movie and how those early development days in the 90s looked. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to sound off in the comments section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, please head back to the main channel to check out our other videos, including our podcasts, law videos and other editorial pieces like this one. Make sure you've subscribed and hit the notification button so that you know when new videos go up. Our YouTube channel is just one of many outlets of the Alien vs Predator Galaxy community and you can find links to our other outlets on the screen below. Thank you for watching, this is Corporal Hicks, signing off.